All right, so we're going to use the fraction circles today. It says place one, place a one twelfth piece in the circle. Place the tip of the fraction piece in the center of the circle, like this. See how it goes to the edge? Oh, nope, you can't. Okay, and then you should trace it. Now, I'm using a big fat pen, so I'm going to move mine so that... But go ahead and do your tracing. And it should look like this when you remove it. What figure is formed when you take the fraction piece out, what? Acute what? Acute angle. So I formed an angle. That's the figure that I formed. And in this case, it happens to be an acute angle. So here we're going to put angle. What parts of the fraction piece represent the rays of the angle? Now, what that means is here's the angle, right? They both start here. I want you guys to stop with your pencils. Both rays of this angle start right here. And they go like this to make two rays, starting at the center point and then going on. The question says, what parts of the fraction do those two rays create? So it created a fraction. What fraction did it create? One twelve. One twelve. Right? And I'm going to go ahead and write that here, 112. On what part of the circle is the <coughs> vertex of the angle? So think about the angle we just drew. Which part of the circle is the vertex? Emil. The middle. The middle, the center, right? The center dot is the vertex. Okay? Now it says to shade the angle that we formed. I'm going to shade it and label it 112. Which way am I going to go on mine? Am I going to go up or down? Down. 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 Up. 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 That's right. To go counterclockwise, I'm going to go here. So it says to put it counterclockwise, which is the opposite way that the direction the hands move on a clock. We've already talked about this a few sec a few minutes ago. Trace the fraction piece in its new place. Okay, so you should have traced the second piece <coughs> right next to it. Should I have left an opening and drawn two lines? No, no. No, you see the example up here. You're supposed to be putting it right next to it, using one of those lines already, using one of those rays, and moving it over. Now, how many twelfths have I, do I have now? Two. Two twelfths. I have two, it says how many twelfths you have traced in all, and so I said two, and now it's called two twelfths. I'm going to label that one twelfth right there, where I started and where I shaded. You should only have shaded one. Have I, I said no when the question was asked, and I didn't tell you to shade. So if you shaded, quickly erase what you shaded, because you shouldn't have been shading. So you should have shaded one. This made one, this made one twelfth. This makes two twelfths. This makes three twelfths. So label yours around this way like I am, around the edge. Keep going around, drawing the rays every twelfth until you get back to here. So now watch, I'm going to do the next one. And what am I going to label this one up here? Four twelfths. Four twelfths. And then I'm going to do it again, and I'm going to have what this time? Okay, so let's go ahead and um, finish this up. What figure is formed by turning and tracing the fractions? So total now, what have I formed, class? One whole, One whole what? Clock. 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 Pizza. 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 Uh, a clock. A clock. A clock. A clock. A pizza or I what shape? Pizza. A circle. Okay, so we've made the shape of a circle. How many times, and I want you to think first, how many times did we have to trace this piece to get all the way around? How many times? Twelve times. Twelve times. I want you to count and raise your hand when you know how many angles did I create and did you create? Twelve. Twelve. So if we take a circle and divide it into twelfths, 
it makes 12 pieces, like a 12 pieces of pie. We can all see that, right? Yeah. This would be like 12 pizzas, or pieces of pizza, or 12 pies, or pieces of pie, or 12 pieces of a big giant cookie, if we had a big giant cookie. Um, and it makes 12 angles, okay? Compare the size of the angles formed by <coughs> one fourth. Okay, so, whoops, I erased mine, but you have yours still. If you took a one-fourth piece out of your bag, go ahead and take a one-fourth piece. Now, looking at it compared to your twelfths, I already erased my twelfths, but I'm going to put some twelfths together for my circle right here. Does that look like I have enough? Let's see. I'm going to put another one. I'm just going to guess. Taking your one-fourth and putting it on the front that we just did, the page we just did, how many... Four, how many twelfths are in one fourth? Three. 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 If I do this, look at I'm gonna go ahead and cover, and then I'm gonna take the one that I didn't cover. And when I take that off and look, it's three. So the question says, compare the angle that's formed by a fourth of a piece and the size of the angle formed by one twelfth. Oh, just looking at that. Compare those angles. How do they compare? What do you think? What do you think, Ethan? The, um, the fourth is three times bigger than the one. Yeah, and you you guys know that because you can see it. But if we were to put it in words, we could say the one fourth is three times the size of the one twelfth. You guys are seeing that because if we put three of them, like Haley said, the one in the middle and then the two other ones. We put them, they equal the same size. Sort of. There you go. Okay. One says to describe the relationship between the size of the fraction piece. So if we had a twelfth as, uh, as our fraction piece. And the number of turns it takes to make a circle. So now thinking about it, if I took my one fourth, <coughs> we know that we needed twelve of these. How many of these do you think makes a circle? Raise your hand when you have an idea. What do you think, Rachel? Four. Four. Okay. What if I had a piece that was one eleven? How many of those <coughs> am I going to need, class? Eleven. Eleven. We don't have eleven size pieces, so we know. So, describe the relationship between the size of the fraction piece. This is the size. They're fourth size pieces. These are twelve size pieces. And the number of turns it takes. Who would like to share their explanation for number two? Okay, so basically, the size of the piece, of the fraction piece, equals the number of turns it needs, right? To get around the circle. So whatever the size of the fraction pieces, that's how many times you'll need. So if I had thirds, how many times will it go around the circle? <coughs> Three. If I had fifths, how many times would it go around the circle? Five. Five. Okay. You can relate fractions and angles to the hands of a clock. So look at the clock. We've already made that connection, many of you. We're doing the same like we did on the front page. Here's a twelfth right here. And then to the next one is another twelfth. That makes two twelfths. What is, how many twelfths is this? <coughs> Three. Three twelfths or what other fraction does that make? One fourth. One fourth. Right? Because I, if I took this, you can see it's that same shape. It's a much larger scale. But I can divide this into fourths. And now I've made one fourth. Okay? It's also taking this fraction, 3 twelfths, and simplifying it. Do you guys remember doing that? Yeah. Simplifying it. I know that 3 goes into 3 and 3 goes into 12. 3 can go into 3 one time and 3 goes into 12 four times. Okay? How many twelfths are shaded if we get to the 30-minute spot? Daniel. Six. Six twelfths. Or, I was asking the question 12. 
Or, what's the other fraction class? One half. One half. One half. One half. You can see that one half of it's shaded. How many twelfths to go to the nine? Nine twelfths. Raise your hand if you know another fraction that's represented here. Again, these are equivalent fractions. If I reduced this or simplified the 9 twelfths, I would do 9 divided by 3 is 3, and 12 divided by 3 is 4. I can also look at it this way and see that that's 1, 2, 3 fourths. How many twelfths to go in 60 minutes? 12. 12 twelfths. Or how much? One or one whole turn. So this is talking about a turn. The clock has turned, the hand has moved three-twelfths here or one-quarter. It's moved six-twelfths or one-half here. And this is, and we're relating it to time, so this is something that you kind of already learned a while and understand. Okay. How many minutes did this equal? Three. How many minutes is this? Fifteen, 15 minutes. Fifteen minutes. Right? Even though we're at the 3, the 3 stands for 15 minutes because we count by 5. All right. What fraction of the circle is shaded, class? One half. One half. So who, what did you guys get for number 2? Uh, one, 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 one. And what did you get for, oh, this is trickier. What did you get for number 3? Three? Three, 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 four. Four. three. If you're not sure, conti watch, continue this line and continue this line and you can see that it is for sure in fourths. If you weren't <coughs> sure, if you couldn't see, it's just turned sideways. If you turned it this way, it makes more sense. Okay. How much of this, what is the fraction of this one? One, one, whole. Whole. one whole. What is this one? One, one half. half. And this one? One, one twelfth. Yeah, it's about one twelfth. Tell whether the angle on the circle shows a fourth, a half, three-fourths, or one full turn. So if you start here, it's showing you the little arrow that it's turning this much. Okay? Does that show a fourth, a half, three-fourths, or a full turn, class? A fourth. One-fourth of a turn. Now, we're not talking fractions shaded. We're talking how much of a turn. If we start... At this spot, the starting spot is wherever the arrow is not. So here's where the arrow is not. If we start here and we go all the way around to this side, how much of a turn are we making? Three-fourths. Three-fourths of a turn. And in your mind, you can imagine that this was all shaded and that that would look like three-fourths. Looking at number nine, which we can't see. Oh, there we go. Starting here and turning this much, how much of a turn are we making? One fourth. One fourth. <laughs> Number ten. We started here. We went around like this. How much of a turn, class? One, One whole. whole. One whole turn. Okay, what about number eleven? One half. One half. One half. Now, here's where you guys will start to make mistakes when we do this later on. You'll look at this, and it looks like a quarter of a turn, doesn't it? Because we see a quarter blocked off. But you have to remember, it's talking about the turn. If you started here, and you ended up here, how much of a turn did you make? One fourth. Three fourths.